right guys last last but certainly not least I went to yes this is becoming my favorite store this is gonna be like my favorite store of 2011 because the deals that I found in this store were like oh my gosh crazy crazy okay actually you know what I forgot I went <laughs> let me get this out of the way real quick I did stop at two more stores I went to my um, local CCO while I was in the outlet I didn't really get anything big I just got some um, gold glitter then some um, fuchsia glitter and then um, three nail polishes one in in color which is a nude color studded which is silver and then just a white that's what I got from my local CCL so anyway now let's move on to this Marshall haul. okay the first thing I got was this um, Ionic Color Protector System Mask by Chi. Um, it's actually a leave-in conditioner, which I can't wait to use. I'm trying to try new um, products in my hair, new leave-ins, new regular conditioners. So anything by Chi, I'm pretty sure is going to be good. So I'll definitely let you guys know how this works out. Then I got three Elizabeth Arden three Elizabeth Arden um, lotions. One was Red Door and two were Fifth Avenue and these were $7.99 a piece which was like a steal because these are um, originally like 20 between $25 and $21 or something like that. Yeah, for that one little tube of lipstick. I mean lipstick <laughs> of lotion. Oh my gosh, you know what? I was all over the place today. I'm just, I got if you guys saw um, Tall Black Beauty's video, um, I bought her some aloe vera infused gloves. I just got myself a pair and two pair of socks. I didn't actually didn't get these from Marshalls. I got these from Kohl's and I totally forgot. I'm just all over the place today. Um, the socks were $12 and the gloves were $8. And then from Marshalls, I don't know, I've just been having on this tweezer kick. I bought these really, really cute little... Um, Oriental Girl tweezers and these were $5.99 very cute and then a little pedicure tool no, nothing major then I got this little bath set three piece spa set it comes with the hair wrap the towel and a little loofah sponge I think this is so cute for when you go to the spa or sometimes you know in school I'll go to the um, esthetician side and I'll get like a facial or whatever. Now that I have my own stuff to put on, I will feel. Did my eyes just cross when I did that? Like, like my eyes crossed. But yeah, anyway, enough of that. Enough of that because I have a shoe haul. Miss Makeupology One. Are you watching, girlfriend? Are you watching? Because this part is for you, girl. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I have four pair of shoes for you guys. So let me just start. All right. Let's begin with the shoe haul. I'm so excited about these. These cute little suede booties. They have a tie. Actually, on the side. Not even so much as on the front. And then they have a wedge heel. And that, like, not really round and not really pointy toe love them love them love them and when you pull them tight they kind of scrunch at the top but better yet the maker of these is i don't know if you guys can see that kate spade yeah so you know anything kate spade is going to be like ridiculously high no matter what y'all want to know how much i paid for these 39 dollars 39 dollars yes y'all you know stores like that stores like Marshalls and TJ Maxx are really getting ready to make way for their spring stuff so you know all their boots and winter so-called winter shoes they're really like moving out y'all please I will rock these all the way until I can't rock them no more or I just feel like they just too hot 
for my feet. I had to get them. Even though I'm not a big fan of wedges, I just thought these were so cute. And then the price was even cuter. So those are my Kate Spade wedges. Right? So let's move on to the next pair. The next pair of boots that I got were these little short motorcycle boots. Now, I don't have any, any, anything like this. And I thought these were so, so super cute. I was actually tossed, tossed, torn between two pair. It was this one and a higher pair. And I just wasn't sure um, which ones I liked most. So I got them both. But yeah, these are the short ones. And y'all, let me show y'all what these are. Y'all probably can't even see inside that boot. Let me see if y'all can see inside there. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Nice and gleaming right off the light. Maybe you can't see that. But inside this boot says Juicy Couture. So you know your girl was going nuts. Like, oh, my God, Juicy Couture. Like, how much are these boots? All right. Wait till I show you guys how much these boots were. a hundred dollars y'all and these were four hundred and ninety five dollars originally and then not only that but when i got there this pair was marked 149 dollars and i was like oh like i don't want to pay that for those but if i have to i will so as i'm walking around i see another pair and i pick those up and notice that those say this price so i'm like hold on somebody made an error and and I think I'll be the one to correct. And I went to the register. I said, ma'am, this boot says $149 and this one says $99. You think you guys made an error? Can you fix it, please? Thank you. And she nicely fixed it. So, yeah, that is how much I paid for these cute Juicy Couture boots. And you know what? And I will wear these in the summertime with a cute little, um, a cute little summer dress, a cute little halter dress or, or a mini skirt and some... Um, some little just socks and a tank top what if it's not like I mean if it's not like crazy crazy hot outside but yes like at night going out oh I sure will rock these with some leggings please yes please let's move on okay I told y'all I was torn between two pair of boots so yeah I got the tall ones as well I love these so much. I'm just loving this, like, this studded detail on them. I really, really like that. I like the toe. I like the fact that it's not a, a um, pointy toe and it's not a real round toe. I like the detailing at the top. And I also like how it's not, um, see how it's going up like that? I like the fact that it's not just one length. So it, it's higher on the back of your leg than in the front. It really accentuates your leg. Love it, love it, love it to death. And these are B. Mikowski's and yeah, $69. Originally $249, then down to $99, then down to $69. So yes, I definitely took advantage of that. And again, I will wear these also in the spring or the summertime at night with a cute little short skirt or cute little short dress, some leggings, a tank top tunic. Honeys, listen, I don't follow trends and all that kind of stuff. The only time I will do that is if I have some open toe shoes and it's like really cold outside and then maybe I won't, you know, bring my other season shoes into the next season. But for the most part, listen, please have one more pair to share with you guys and these were like my my really my ultimate favorite because these are like okay let me show y'all this box yes michael kors y'all know he be making some bad bad shoes like for real check these out check them out check them out check them out now the top is still let me see do I have any scissors I can cut this with at the top it has the the Michael Kors band around it in gold and then at the bottom it gets skinnier 
and then at the very bottom of the shoe it has like the ridges so like anti-slip and there's a nice little platform yes 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 love these and they look so fierce on I want to say this is probably like a four inch heel not too high let me show y'all how much I paid for these $99 and this price original price says $380 to $99 like yeah like how can you beat that like for real so yeah guys I think that was it for my first haul of 2011 I think I think that was quite enough yes this probably is it the biggest haul that I've done so far in one day maybe it might just be the biggest haul that I've done in in one day strictly for myself but you know your girl had to like go out again I had a gift card I mean what are you gonna do I had to spend it so whatever you know yeah whatever <laughs> even though I should have saved some of it for later but for what I don't care just whatever but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my first haul of 2011. Um, guys, I have so much planned for my channel for the new year. So many different things that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to um, try to stick to um, a certain program just so I can get everything done because I get a lot of requests that I want to honor. And trust me, y'all, I have a notebook here and I write everything down so I have so many requests that I want to get to so I'm gonna probably take a couple of days out of the week just to simply do requests so if you guys want to see something want to see me do something um, want me to review something for you or check something out please definitely definitely let me know and I will definitely try to do that um, and then just some other things that I want to discuss. And I'm going to take one day out of the week to really talk some personal things. So if you guys want to really, really, really get to know me and who I really am. I mean, I think we're kind of past the introductory part now. So, yeah, I think I can start letting you guys know more about the inner me and who I am. Besides, you know, this shopping and this makeup and everything. Because there is more than meets the eye. So if you guys are interested in any of that, please stay tuned. I want to thank all of my new subscribers and all of my current and old subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. And you, you guys are like the best, I swear. I, I just, wow. I, I probably get maybe one or two eh, comments in all my videos and I'm like wow I have the best subscribers like ever I, I, I mean I can't really compare them to any well yeah I can compare them to some people I mean some people get bombed on YouTube and I'm like wow why are you watching or subscribing to that person if you're gonna just bomb them or degrade them I just don't understand that but you guys are nothing like that You guys are so supportive and have been supportive from day, day one. So, oh gosh, I, I'm just like overwhelmed and overjoyed at, at the positive responses that I've been getting since I've been on YouTube. It's been an amazing, amazing journey. For those of you who don't know, I did make YouTube partner, so yeah. I wasn't really gonna I wasn't sure if I was really gonna put it out there but I'm excited about it so you know why not I'm not trying to brag it's just something that I accomplished that I'm really 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 excited about and I wouldn't have done that without you guys so you guys I owe everything to which is why I'm trying to change the dynamics of my channel and I want to give you guys what it is that you want to see so please again do not hesitate if if you guys want um, advice sessions like one day out of the week where you want 
you know, you want to do advice or you want to do fashion, you want to do outfits of the day, you want to do collections, whether it be shoes, makeup, purses, brushes, anything you want to see certain looks with certain colors or maybe something in my videos that you were curious about and you want me to talk about it or maybe you have personal questions for me that you want to ask me don't hesitate because I am like really an open book I mean for real everybody has a past and everybody has gone through things your past is indicative of your future but you cannot let your past hold you back from your future which I am not doing so I am not ashamed to embrace nor discuss anything that's ever happened in my past so if you guys are going through things and you want me to discuss them by all means I will you know again everything can be private I would never shout a name out like oh so and so sent me a message and said but if you would just like me to address this situation and you want to get a little feedback don't hesitate shoot me an inbox and say exactly what it is you want to discuss or if you just want to discuss something one-on-one -on -one with me those of you guys who already have done this you guys know that I am so open about who I am what I am and what I do so with that being said I'm just going to wrap this video up because I feel that migraine coming back just a little bit and I think um, it's time for me to go and lay down so again guys thank you thank you so so very much from the bottom of my heart I would not have accomplished anything on YouTube without any of you so much love to all of you thank you guys so much I, I appreciate and adore all of my subscribers especially the ones that I have made um, a personal connection with so thank you guys very much and um, any for any of you guys, I'm uh, again. I'm sorry. I've just really have not been feeling um, too well lately. Um, I've gotten some messages that I have not gotten a chance to respond to um, yet. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm by no means ignoring. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm by no means ignoring you. Again, I've just not been feeling well, which. I'm starting to get to that point now, so I'm just really going to wrap this up with deuces. See you guys in a little bit.